Welcome back. In the last step, we set up a simple project. In this step, what we want to do is we would want to be able to connect to our in-memory database H2. We would want to be able to see if we are able to play with it and learn more about the H2 in-memory database. What we did until now for H2 is basically we added in a H2 as dependency in the pond.xml. One of the things which we talked about in the introduction to Spring Boot was the fact that Spring Boot has this feature called auto configuration. This auto configuration looks at the fact that H2 is one of the dependencies available and it will automatically configure a connection to the H2 database. So it would automatically configure a data source which is connecting to the H2 database. What we want to be able to do is to connect to the H2 database. I would want to be able to see what are the tables which are present in there, what is the data which is present in there and all that kind of stuff. In this step, let's focus on just trying to connect and see the fact that there is no tables which are present in there. So let's get started. The way we can configure it is by application.properties. In application.properties, you can say spring.h2.console.enable is equal to this would enable something called a H2 console. So you can stop the application and start it again. You can see that there is now a new web servlet which is mapped to slash H2 console. So now let's see what's happening with H2 console. I'll go to localhost 8080 slash H2 console. So the URL again is localhost 8080 slash H2 hyphen console. Just type that into your browser and this is what would come up. Make sure that you're choosing the right drop-down value. So we are connecting to a H2 embedded database. You can give any name to this setting and you can save it if you'd want to. And the driver we are using is org H2 driver. And the JDBC URL is JDBC colon H2 colon mem colon test DB. That's the defaults that we are making use of. So make sure that you have these right values present. We'll use a username, essay, and empty password. And you can click connect. This would launch up the H2 console. This is very similar to any other database client that you would be using. For example, if you're using a MySQL, you'd be using a MySQL client to connect to it and execute queries on the database. If you're using Oracle, you might be using something like Toad or SQL Developer. So this is similar to that, except for the fact that this is on the web. So we are using a URL to navigate to that. As of now, there are no tables in this particular database because we have not created any tables as of now. What we want to be able to do is we would want to be able to create a table and populate some data into this in-memory database. The thing about in-memory database is this is only live as long as the application is running. As soon as the application stops running, this database gets killed. The thing about in-memory database is the fact that it's so easy to maintain. You would see that in the next steps, we would add data to it and we would see that it's very easy to start this up, connect to it and do all the things around that. If we really connect to a database like Oracle or MySQL, you'd see that there is a lot of setup that is needed. You have to install the server, you have to create a database, you have to define the schema, populate the data, and if by mistake some of the data is getting changed, you need to initialize it each time. There's a lot of setup that is involved with creating an actual database. A uh, in-memory database is an awesome tool for learning stuff. Once you complete your learning, you can easily connect to a database of your choice, a MySQL or an Oracle. With Spring Boot, all that you'd need to do to connect to a new database is to change three or four property file values. That's it. And you'd be ready to connect to other databases. In this course, what we'll do is we'll start with connecting to a H2 console. And at the end of this section, I'll show you how you can connect to a database of your choice. In this short video, we introduced you to the H2 console. We helped you to launch H2 console. We saw that there, is, there are no tables present in here and there is no data in there. In the next step, what we'll do is we'll try and create a table and initialize some data in there. Until the next step, bye-bye.